Hello, everybody. We are back. Yeah, John Wilson's new thing that he's producing anyway. It looks like it could be all right. It doesn't look great, but it looks like it could be interesting. Hello, um, boys. Emwa. Emwa. R. <laughs> Emwa. <laughs> Thanks, Elmo. Uh, Shay is not here in Atlanta. He's a uh, Discord. Fang is sitting on a bench in front of one of the uh, in front of one of the restaurant windows. She's humming to her, herself, and her tail is drumming Eurobeat on the bench. I take a seat next to her. By now, the plaza has cooled down. Most shops have closed, and the only people still out are returning home after the long day. The two of us sit in compassionable silence for, uh, save for Fang's humming and tail drumming. Her mood is contagious, and soon enough, I'm humming with her. Her. I already know the song. It's from the roof. Except more, more happy. The scene is great. Just Fang and I on a bench in the waning sunlight in the middle of a deserted plaza. Is that supposed to be bait? First message talking about how they hate my favorite director. <laughs> is that just for attention? <laughs> Taking the moment in, I don't. I almost don't notice Fang scooting closer to me. <laughs> Mom, Dad, we're home. Were you closer to the mic on that one? There was a little bit of peeking. Um, I don't know. I say it again. I can move the mic slightly further away. Mom, Dad, we're home. How's That's that? a little bit better. The ride back to Fang's house went by uneventfully. Fang and I didn't talk about what happened, so Nasser didn't have an aneurysm. Oh, welcome home, Nasser, dear. How did your date go? I'm just dying to know. I am also interested. I don't know how, but he's looking into the exact center of my pupils with no margin of error. So, Anon, how was your trip with my little girl? Dead! Why don't you go get ready for bed, Lucy? Fang glowers. Lucy, your mom. I look to Fang. Okay, yeah, it was a date. It went well, sir. What did... We were able to find a venue, and I met Fang's uncle, Mo. Fang's dad sputters. I have half a mind of bringing you into the station, boy. And the other half of testing my new nightstick on you. Dear, not in front. I wouldn't mind doing this again. Oh, <laughs> oh wow, the look on Fang's face is really cute. Naomi's glasses are really funny, too. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for you, too. I wave as I turn to the door. I'll see you at school, Fang. Yeah, yeah, you too, Anon. Err. <laughs> With that, I exit the door. Once it's closed, I can feel all that bravado evaporate and my legs turn to jelly. I think that's enough excitement for one day. My first step towards the bus stop is so wobbly, I worry I'll end up in Fang's mom's rose bush. Fang's parents were also not really in the other game, so of course they're more more memorable it, it would probably be a good idea to sit back and catch my breath before going home and take a seat on the curb just outside fang's house the door behind me slams open and i jerk around to see nasser being shoved in, down the steps and don't come back until you're finished thinking the door slams again and i hear a morose sigh oh man anon yeah. Why are you sitting here? Just catching my breath. Your dad's a bit... Harsh? Homicidal, but close enough. Nacer <laughs> huffs and shoves his hand, hands back into his pockets. You know you're the reason my dad kicked me out, right? What? Pee-pee-poo-poo, cherry-dairy-ding-dong! 
I like my balls tickled. Ooh, oh, ho, oh, her. Was that it? <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> I know he's pissed. I so, I know he's pissed. I so much as looked at Fang, but what did you do? Turns out, letting you run off with Fang is just encouraging your degeneracy or something. Sighing, Nasser drops to sit on the curb next to me. He kicks a rock clean across the road and into the neighbor's mailbox. Impressive. <laughs> Getting kicked out really got you that down? Sure. Convincing. What's the real answer? What's it to you? Not much. Just figured I'd ask. He stretches his wings and lays back on the pa pavement. Just figures it'd get to this. Get to what? Me getting punished for Fang's issues. Nasser lays an arm over his eyes. Why do you need to go alone? You saw her today. She was this close to killing your girlfriend. Honestly, you should be thanking me for that. He waves me away at that. <laughs> go on. You aren't my therapist. Humor me. Nasser's arms arm flops away from his face and onto the concrete. Ugh. I mean, look at it from my perspective. Fang is always up to something stupid. More often than not, these days, she's arguing with either me or my parents. At this rate, Fang will end up a junkie or in prison somewhere. I cringe at the mental image of Junkie Fang. Mom and Dad have pretty much accepted that. So who do you think all their hopes and dreams go to? Me. With a growl, Nasser sits back up. Grrr. It's like I'm not allowed to have problems of my own. Not allowed to mess up or do anything less than the best. Judging by the trophy case at school, you aren't doing half bad. I wish it was an option to fail. I mean, instead, I'm stuck with no room for error and still with a broken sister. And she's still my sister, you know? I can't help but be worried for her. But what can I do? She hates me, and I can't bring up my worries with my parents. Even Naomi notices I get stressed about it. I just want my sister to be happy, to go back to normal but I don't even remember what normal is. I don't have siblings myself, but if I did, I certainly would have trouble doing all you're able to. That selflessness by itself should should help you, right? Selflessness? Are you kidding me? Her friends would be destroyed if Fang just dropped all that. Who might even wish she were different? So you're getting all this worked up and you aren't even sure it's the right thing? Yeah, I guess so. I try and parse everything Nasser's bitched up about up to... Uh, I try and parse everything Nasser's bitched about up to now. Guess it's time for Dr. Mouse's psychological response. You know, Nasser, have you considered just not? What? <laughs> Nasser practically lunges at me. I hold my hands up in supplication? I consider what to say. Mo's advice drifts to the forefront of my thoughts. Hear me out. Just consider this. Maybe it's not your job. I mean, you go out of your way to try and help her. Hell, even Naomi has tried. But maybe Fang's problem is her to fix. <laughs> but, but, but. We met your uncle today. Uncle Mo? Yeah, and he had some advice for me. He said she needs someone to support her, not fix her problems for her. <laughs> Isn't that what I've been doing? Remember the show in the auditorium? Auditorium? The perturbed pterosaur sags as he recalls that disaster. Oh. 
Look, man, you've got a lot of problems of your own. Maybe you should handle those first before you try to fix your sisters. Huh. Well, if Uncle Mo said so. But why did he tell you that? Shit. Er, you know, just advice from an old guy. You know how they love to give advice. His head shakes side to side, dismissing my dismissal. No way. Not Uncle Mo. He'd never give you the time of day. Shit, 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 shit. Look, he just wanted to give me some advice for Fang, and now I'm giving it to you, so drop it. No way. <laughs> advice for Fang? Saying it was a date? Like any Anon is that in shape. Do you... True. <laughs> Do you like my sister? <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> Good observation, Iron Soda. <laughs> I wasn't the one that... <laughs> that... Explains a lot. Shit. I mean, it's very it's very much like the Soyjack sort of Chad memes where, like, everyone using those thinks that they're the Chad. But then you look at someone like Heels versus Babyface freaking out about pronouns it's like you're literally the soy jack <laughs> like like you're literally the soy jack <laughs> like how how every uh you know extreme anti-homophobe that makes it a part of their daily life to talk about how much they hate gay people turns out that they're gay you know it's the same shit but i didn't oh god what would dad think of the kids? Like, guaranteed, the people who use soy jacks the most are just soy jacks. <laughs> like, like, can you can you imagine anyone else who's dedicated their lives to to just doing soy jacks? When you see that with their like profile photo and they're like, "This is a parody of someone else." Like, sorry, <laughs> you've 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 told on yourself at this point. What the fuck? Hell, if Dad finds out at all. Nasser! He pauses, the look of shock disdain still stuck to his face. At this point, it seems like you just want to be stre a stressed mess. Maybe I do like your sister. Sure, she's rude, violent, and maybe a bit bipolar. She's impressionable, self-centered, stubborn, and the list goes on. Are you looking to taste some concrete? But beyond that, there's more to her, like... Like her passion, Nasser. She adores music, adores playing music. And she has these moments where I can see the softer side of her. The pop of knuckles from Nasser tells me I should rephrase that. I mean, it feels like I've gotten to see a side of Fang that she hasn't shown anyone else. A side that, that's willing to give a loser like me the time of day. And that's enough? I don't know, man. This is all uncharted water. Like, how did you and Naomi get together? That is a very long story. Yeah, yeah, I mean... Uh, sorry, trying to catch up on some of the comments here. Like, it's it's pretty obvious and predictable about, like, yeah, the, Anon knows best for these characters. Anyone who's... <laughs> non-binary is just a very confused person that's going through a phase that is trying to be someone else and every other form of identity is an objective thing and no one is playing a character you know um it's but whatever but like, fair, like none of the other character hmm? none of the other characters seem to be um any different they all seem to be on board other than the one character they all misgender her Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was gonna say, it's you can take it either way in terms of like it being a commentary on 4chan <laughs> or an objective sort of statement, and it's like okay, even if you, even if it is the the perspective of the artist creating the game, it still serves its purpose as just being like a true uh, reflection of Chan culture. You don't have to agree with the perspective of the artist or the 
It can no, Olivia. It can be a commentary on 4chan without being a critical commentary on 4chan. It can be it can be made by somebody who completely agrees with everything that this character is saying, but still be a reflective, honest portrayal of a group of people, which does have some value in art. I think, in my opinion, where it's like death of the artist, right? Like, does it really matter if you agree with the? the artist's perspective on something. Like, if I watch a movie by, like, a religious person, does it really matter if I'm non-religious? I don't think so. It's it, it, As long as it's, like, a something reflective of something, um, which this is, even if, even if what they're reflecting is something that we can disagree with. How long? About two school semesters. 30 track meets. And a school election. All I'm saying is that any other game that I would, that you could classify as made by 4chan, the N word would be in here like every second sentence, right? <laughs> this is trying to be like a little bit. It's 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 something that what it turned out to be was eventually something that was recommended to me by people who thought that I would enjoy it in, on some level. And it turned out to be, you know, fairly accurate. It's not, it's not the, it's not the darkest depths of pole. It's just something that is reflective of Chan culture, and we can disagree with what, you know, that culture inherently is, or if it's good for society. But it, that's what it is. <laughs> so about a paper book, paperback book, then. Sure, why not? Nasser hums and reclines back onto the pavement. Mm. Sheesh. How do we wind up talking about our love lives? Speak for yourself, man. I know fuck all about this stuff. And you think I do? Naomi's the one that makes all the plans and stuff. Seems like she does that a lot. Just the way she is. Anyway, I think Dad's had enough time now and a beer to cool down. How long has it been? About an hour, I think. Wait. I swiftly withdraw my phone to check the time. Ah, fuck. I'm going to miss the last bus. I could give you a lift. And let you find out I live in the shittiest part of town? Nah, it's fine. If I run, I think I can make it. Well, don't let me keep you. I'll catch you at school and on. Yeah, sure thing. There's there's art that I've loved that I feel is made by conservatives. <laughs> you know? There's art that I've loved that I feel is made by people that, like, diametrically oppose my worldviews or even my, like, identity. Um... And if we're going to judge this game and Goodbye Volcano High on their artistic merits, like this is way more. <laughs> this is way more well done and artful than this other fucking dumb government funded game that took fucking 12 years to make. <laughs> and for what it's worth, you're not like the monkeys we hear about all the time on Dino News Network. The kind that hang around this part of town called Skin Row, you know? <laughs> oh, no! Why did they say monkeys and then Skin Row? Ah, oh, that's exactly what I thought we were avoiding here. I was like, it's not that bad. Damn, that really fucking... Uh, damn, that was bad timing. It really went there. That's awful. <laughs> Just gonna ignore... The character is ignoring that, so he's like... Yeah. He's saying it through Nasser. He's saying it through Nasser. <laughs> but also understanding that this is exactly what people who are on 4chan that will play this game would want, you know. <laughs> Tossing a little bone for them. It's not good. Thanks for sticking around a bit. It's nice to be able to finally tell someone all that. Getting a little sus here. I wave Nasser goodbye as I get up and start jogging for the bus stop. I'm mentally fatigued. 
After everything that's happened today, I'm fat and gay. I checked my phone for the time. Hmm. I open up the browser and go for to a familiar Sudaten sword swallowing IRC. So what's interesting about that part, it's like he, he gave that character attribute to Nasser, as in like, Nasser's a racist, and then Anon said, I'll just ignore that. Which I would argue goes against Chan culture because Anon would be the one saying that. <laughs> if we were to be, per if if Anon is gonna be the like, I don't understand non-binary people and they're obviously just confused, then it would be more consistent for Anon to be the one delivering those lines. So yeah, here here we're getting into the issues with the the narrative perspective. Hey faggots, <laughs> guess who just got back from a perfect date? <laughs> 12 it shows up it doesn't show up all the time but when it shows up it's uh it's pretty funny 12 replies from a single post i think that's a new record for me <laughs> one week later <laughs> the, the week's been a mix of excitement and trepidation <laughs> More excitement from Fang and the band and trepidation on, on my part around Fang. You know what's funny? I watched a UFC game about a week ago, literally a week ago, and the guy who won was like, this Fang, I was like, wow, that doesn't happen all the time, but it was, it was a pay-per-view and they didn't even censor it. It was just like on the thing we were watching. Having come to terms with how I feel, I just can't stop noticing all the little things she does. Like her cute tail wagging to a silent tune. Or her weird and funny way of eating. Or how soft and huggable her wings look. Raptor Jesus, if this is what love is, I want kind of to sample... I I kind of want to sample Buckshot. <laughs> and yet I don't want it to stop. Even now as Moe and Reed work on clearing the floor of tables and making noise, and I'm drooling like an idiot as I watch Fang bend over a large amp. Ahem. So this... Okay... Fang drooling over a large amp perfectly describes one of the not safe for work images sent to me by Antifa Catboy. So I'm, I'm assuming that's where image two <laughs> would be, but it's not in the game. Antifa Catboy, if you want to just post these images in chat, I'm fine with it. I don't think that they're not pornographic. They're not pornographic at all. They're, you can see like a little bit of camel toe that's about it it's like the fucking david cage games have way worse right so if the antifa cat boy wants to if you want to put that in chat for so shay can click on it and see what the fuck is going on the return of yef chat not quite but i mean what's stop what's stopping us from having a separate chat if let's say if let's say we had a chat that was like uh, Destiny's chat, like a dot gg address, is there anything stopping us from just posting if in that chat and commenting on it on sc on stream? Is that against Twitch TOS? I don't know actually. No, should I reach out to Steven? <laughs> just get our own fucking thing. <laughs> We used to have Yif Chat, and then Ch Twitch changed their TOS. There would be no issue. I would say there would be no issue. I don't know if th that's really the case, but yeah. Anyway, ahem. Even now, her tail wags to that mysterious beat in her head. Ahem! Not to mention the way that those jeans hug her hips and ass. Ahem! All right, Antifa Catboy posted the image... Uh, there's three images that Antifa Catboy posted, and they're all lewd images of uh, Shay, if you want to click on any of those. Those are the ones that we turned off. Ooh. And the second image Very is clearly risque. what was happening here. Because th that described it perfectly. Yeah. No, all right. Hmm? All right, this is you. Aren't you supposed to be helping? Hmm? Oh shit, right. Y yeah, right, just moving this table. <laughs> Alright, Sonix is a fan of the third one? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
I pick up the last table on the floor and hurriedly move it to the suspiciously large storage room in the back of Dino Moe's. I set the table down with the rest right next to the seemingly out of place buckets of cement mix. Looking out from the closet, the joint is actually pretty big. The area is a good 150 by 200 feet, so without the tables, there is enough space for at least a few hundred people. How far through the game are we now? Three quarters? What's the deal? Impressed, I let out a low whistle. Am I'm on time, right? I Where did she come from? Hmm, who are you? We've met before. Well, wait, Stella, right? From the school gardens. She gleefully nods. Yes, Rosa should be coming any minute now, too. About half, little more? No way, come on. So if I... Show me someone's full playthrough on YouTube that I can reference and just see, like, where the hell this scene is, right? I thought we were so much further through the game last time we were playing this. Should we break this up into, like, two different days again? Excuse me. I don't think we've made, like, tons of progress today. We've been... We've made at least three hours of progress. Okay, let's see. Really? I think that's optimistic. There was five hours of stream. I think we did at least three hours of gameplay. Right? Snoop game. Do I have like the highest viewed playthrough of this game? <laughs> it's not even that many views. It's just nobody's play. Nobody's brave enough to play this. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's brave enough to attach their identity to this game right now. Let's see. Yeah, they like there are like barely any views on these things. Wow. That's crazy. It's it's funny because like if maybe the actual game was more of a release <laughs> then maybe snoot game would get even more how, how uh, old when did snoot game come out how old is this game like two years old came out uh at least before july 2021 let's see does it even have a wiki or is it too uh mm -hmm. edgy to have a wiki Snoot game, 2021. June 2021. Yeah, so like two years before the actual game. And it's still, it, there's like more gameplay. <laughs> there's way more content. Thanks for the sub, Orange. Um, I am here. Okay, I'm clicking on someone's YouTube thing. Okay, that is a troll. Wait, alone with Fang in her room. Snoot game six out of what's this whole playthrough plus mods who wants to do plus mods though come on it looks like maybe there's two more parts and then there's endings yeah it looks like okay so this other person is playing for another like three hours before they hit some sort of ending so theoretically we finish it today before some sort of ending. I'm not going to do all endings. We might watch some of the other endings, but uh, I'm not going to do all endings. That's for sure. This is crazy. What an interesting thing to uh, navigate through, I guess. All right. Well, other than Stella through the bathroom door, but that doesn't seem that doesn't really count. But Fang and the rest will be happy. They at least have two fans, right? You know. There's always room in the gardening club if you still want to join Anon. There's no way I'm going back to that sort of prison labor. I look at the pale green spine covered thing up and down, including the op Opai t shirt she's wearing. 
What the fuck? Uh, you, you do know what your shirt says, right? Yeah, I don't know. Stella gives me a quizzical look, then glances down at her shirt, her face turning bright red. Oh my, this was the only clean shirt I had. Someone's gonna have to explain to me what this is. If I didn't feel the way I did about Fang, I'd think Stella's stammering was kind of cute. Suddenly, her face lights up and her eyes return to me. It means big tits? Okay. Wait. You like anime too, don't you? Play it cool and uh, no need to reveal your power level. <laughs> They're not, neither of them are I currently watch and enjoy anime. I'm disappointed by the lack of options here. Yeah, uh, a little bit. That's amazing. I don't have anyone else I can talk to about it. What's your favorite anime? I love Pre-Cure. <laughs> Raptor Jesus on his cross of rock. It takes all my strength not to physically cringe. Ooh, we should watch it together sometime. I have the box set of every season. Is that a real anime or are people just memeing in chat? We could marathon it over a long weekend or something. It is? <laughs> uh, maybe some other time. I'll just block my calendar for this. Maybe for after the heat death of the universe. Anyway, the show isn't for another half hour. I wanted to ask you before, what did you think of your fortune? Uh, I kind of forgot. You got the judgment. Doesn't ring a bell. Oh, well, uh, how'd you like another? Eh, I got time to kill, sure. She pulls her deck of tarot cards from somewhere. Where the fuck does she hide these things? Anyway, she fans the deck out. All right, I'll take one. Or take one. <laughs> Is August 12th, 2036 the Squidward date? Is that... Correct, whiskey addict. It's going to be funny when people take that seriously for no reason. I take one at random and show it to her. Oh my, inverted empress. You need to be wary about future negligence, Anon. The fuck does that mean? Uh, er, gotta go. Nature calls. See you at the show. She flees in denim pissing fear. <laughs> well then, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I step up to the stage to see the band's point of view. And then promptly tripped up. Arg! What the fuck was that? There's a loose cord over my foot. That's probably not good for the show. I stand up and wipe the dust from my pants. Trish is the organizer. Ugh. Right now, she's giving Reed a lecture on why it is probably a bad idea to put car fentanyl in the smoke machine. <laughs> hey, Trish. Trish looks over her shoulder and Reed's face lights up. Can you come here a second? Trish sighs, points between her eyes and Reed's, and stomps over to the stage. What do you want, skinny? All right, first message from a chatter. Okay, I watched your stream with a friend for a little bit, and I think you got this game kind of wrong. It's not making about making fun of the game and only to make fun of the LGBT plus QIA plus community. The company that made this is new to the visual novel genre, spelt wrong, and makes really bright and colorful games. I want to know your opinion on the game, and I mean its entirety, not just the visuals and story and homophobia. If you would watched all the streams, you wouldn't think that that was my takeaway. <laughs> Fucking first chatter. What are you here from? Jesus Christ, just watch a bit. I don't feel like explaining anything to you. It's always so annoying when I... The people the people that show up with the least amount of context are always the ones Very that pretend to have the most context. Who have human arts be called fleshies. It's always... It's always... Whatever people to say, like, the dumbest shit, it's always people that are like, I'm one of your patrons. Then I'll be like, what's your name on Patreon? And they'll be like, I won't tell you. <laughs> I don't know. It's always... 
sorry, sorry, but for you to take for you to think that that's my takeaway from all the parts that have been posted on YouTube is just like you maybe you didn't watch them anyway. I just tripped on one of the wires up here. Sucks to be you. Bitch. Okay, so if you have less than zero context but read up on the wiki and the story behind, then why do you think that my takeaway was what the wiki was? Anyway, should I plug them all into a search protector so you guys don't fall during the concert? What? No, of course not. We won't trip. I have that on good authority. Whose? Reads? And you trust his word on something like this? Sure. He's the expert on this stuff and all. Before I can object, Trish turns away and runs after Reed, who is huddled over the smoke machine, pungent fumes wafting from its exposed innards. Well, seems like he's got that handled. Trish seemed pretty confident that Reed knows what he's doing with the stage. But Reed obviously doesn't understand the cable management. Let's leave it. <laughs> Reed may not understand cable management, but then Reed. again, neither did I. Probably better to let sleeping fossils lie. Inverted arrow, thanks for the sub. Now that that's taken care of, I glance at the pizza-themed clock on the wall. 30 minutes until the show starts. The band is doing one last sound test. Reed's bass drum, bearing another new logo for Viverm drama that doesn't look half bad. Trish has a wicked grin on her face, and I can practically see the dollar signs in her eyes. There's a moment in um, Goodbye Volcano High where they let you pre-select uh, or select from a uh, number of pre-drawn uh, logos for the band. And I picked one and later it shows up like on a van, but I guess mine was one of the ones that was too wide. So it cut off the end of it, <laughs> which is really bad because it's pre-select. It's not like I even drew it. It was like, oh wow, the logo you chose earlier goes on the, you get to use it in the game, but it was like cut off. I'm like, there's only a certain amount that you can choose from, so to fuck that up doesn't make any sense. And Fang. <laughs> Fang looks anxious, hands ringing at the strap of her, her hollow body electric guitar. I consider what I'm about to do is extremely stupid, but Hey. Uh. She jumps a little as I step back on stage. Her knuckles are bright white as they strangle the leather strap. Hey! The secret is support. I offer my most supportive smile. You've got this, Fang. Don't feel like I do, though. You do. You've been practicing all month for this. And you've improved immensely since your last gig. I have complete faith in your ability to play guitar. Don't worry so much. Just don't fret about it. You'll be fine. No pun intended. Trish rolls her eyes. Reed's vacant stare has a bit of approval. At least it wasn't a dinosaur pun this time. I'm not that unfunny. You are. Fuck you, I'm hilarious. No one thinks that, loser. Don't you have something to be triggered about? <gasps> you can't use that word. That's our word. That's a very it's funny statement triggered. to make, even ironically. <laughs> Right-leaning people get triggered all the time. Just did. Want to see me do it again? Fucking pound out in Starfield! This game was made years ago, though, so that didn't happen yet, but... <laughs> ladies, ladies, please shut the fuck up. We got some, we got sweet music to play. <laughs> Fucking proud out. Showtime. <laughs> All right, next up we got the. <laughs> what? They go right into their next song with gusto. That's the title of their song, I guess, is the. <laughs> 
An hour later and the band is wrapping up their last song for the night, I take my eyes off the stage and get a read on the crowd. Easily a good hundred people show up to see Vaverm drama better than any of us expected. The look on Fang's face when everyone began filtering uh, into the restaurant was priceless. That expression. <laughs> they were on the last song of the night, the bizarrely long name of which I missed. It's funny how they didn't do a stage background. But I guess there's no stage in the pizza place. Not even like a corner where they pretend to have a stage. I just gotta ask, why is Hitler riding my bike pretending to be a monkey? <laughs> Oh, right. Reed definitely wrote this one. <laughs> the band really <laughs> has improved as opposed to booing and pointly <laughs> pointing at the audience is <laughs> listening intently. At 3 a.m. <laughs> She's not even playing guitar. In the morning. On a fucking Tuesday. After the song ends, the Verm drama hangs onto the pose of their final note. It's silent. I applaud the band. Eventually, some other patrons join in. The applause turns to cheers, and the cheers turn to uproar. The crowd was cheering, actually cheering this time. Hey. <laughs> the bandmates' faces light up as they all glance at each other. The hard work has taken its toll on the three, giving them varying degrees of perspiration. The sweat is trickling down Fang's forehead. Trish has gone from an afro to dreadlocks, <laughs> and Reed is providing the restaurant with a nice ocean scent. <laughs> <laughs> Fang finishes with a furious <laughs> flurry of strumming on her fretboard. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, little true dawn! The crowd's approval is obvious, even if the makeshift mosh pit where I see Stella getting fake curb stomp. <laughs> At least I think it's fake. Rosa on the other is on the other side of the room, too entranced by the music to care. Eh, I don't see any blood, so she's good. Anon! Before I could react, I was swept up in a blur of feathers. I... Fang wrapped her arms and wings around me and kept rocking back and forth. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, we did it! They actually love the Verm drama! I tune out the alarm screaming in my head and hug her back. Her wings are just as soft and huggable as they look. Fang's beak settles against my cheek, the warm scales sliding smoothly up and down against it. This is way more, like lonely <laughs> for the target audience and what it's intending to be then goodbye volcano high goodbye volcano high is just trying to be like i'm not sure what it's trying to be like just government funded like they were just looking for a job this is actually coming from a place of like someone wanting to like like th this appeals this appeals to the male fantasy this is why i fucking hate video games this this appeals to like an actual like desire, which is kind of interesting. Like it's a real, it's a real uh, dating sim, <laughs> which is I think the word that he was almost saying <laughs> twice. And it's not, it's not a bad desire. It's not a bad want to have. It's just kind of interesting that this turned out to be more of what that was than an explicit like shitting on something and parodying it. Like it actually has real intentions behind it that are not even present in what it's parodying. Yeah, this is straight furry shit. This is nice. I become aware of my hands planted firmly on the small of Fang's back and pressing her closer to me. It's very sensual and descriptive. Like, it's very... <laughs> there's, definitely, there's definitely a sexual intent here. Beneath my splayed palms is soft, warm, and drenched in sweat. I find that I don't really mind the slickness. Fang? You don't think furries helped with Goodbye Volcano High? Yeah, who knows what the fuck the person that made that was. I feel like I could stay like this forever. Did furries officially help with this? Because that would not surprise me. Hello, Fang. Fang suddenly flinches, and I get a split-second view of a purple hand on her shoulder. Her face is beet red, and the warmth in my own cheeks tells me I don't look far behind. Trish looks like she's sucked on a lemon with how twisted her face is. The tiny triceratops pulls Fang out of my hands and I can picture my fist twisting that horn right off her face. Hmm. Great show, right? I guess. For our first show, anyway. 
What? It was great though. Everyone was cheering. You know what's funny? Trish Trish turns out to be like way more in like unlikable in Goodbye Volcano High. Trish is the one that's like, actually, I don't care about being in the band at all. And I don't, you know, go fuck yourself. <laughs> it's like a really weird, unexplained character <laughs> motivation. But it was a small crowd. Was it? The place was packed. Small venue. We gotta think bigger now. Why bigger? Because I still have stock. She motions to the bar where there is still some hung up shirts with the new mediocre logo. Blah. Lazily spray painted on. Have you sold much? Three buttons, four stickers, and an apron. An apron? Hey, kids. Olivia, you might be surprised that I remembered anything that happened in that game because it was so boring, but I speed ran the entire thing and I read very fast. <laughs> I was just doing this the whole thing faster. Nothing happened. Don't get me wrong. Nothing happened, but... <laughs> Look at this year. Uh, apron. Yo, little <laughs> Trigon friend told me. <laughs> Trish looks split on whether to be mad about the Trigga comment or happy about the successful sale. <laughs> hey, someone took my apron! Get back to work, Jerry. You're on the clock. It uh, looks nice, Uncle Mo. Anyway, you's all going to be helping with the cleanup, right? I look at the absolute mess around us. Fuck. This is the dev Sona. The dev has a T-Rex Sona? No way. I'm going to need evidence on that one. I'm going to need a... Because it wouldn't suffer... Like... The, this is made for people that are like attracted to furry characters, right? Come One dollar and zero cents, guys. My daddy Derek just called me submissive and readable. What does that mean? Okay, just because it's his profile picture on Twitter doesn't mean that's his Sona. Also, I'm going to follow their Twitter. <laughs> What's their Twitter? <laughs> A profile picture doesn't mean that's their Sona. <laughs> An hour later, and I'm stu stuck mopping up where the mosh pit once stood. As my mop head gains a tinge of red, I pray to God this isn't from Stella. Rosa wanted to stay and help clean, but... I'm so sorry, Stella. Come, I shall nurse you back at my home. I'd feel more sorry for Stella, but Rosa looked capable of helping her. My God, that's a lot of marinara, yeah. Fang and Trish are trying to divide and carry out the stage. The mop really isn't getting much from the floor. Am I supposed to have a bucket or something? Yo, Anon. Reed crosses right through the puddles, tracking grimy footprints without a care. Hey, man. What do you think of the lyrics? What were you on when you wrote that? Reed rubs his forehead, struggling to remember more than 10 minutes ago. I don't know, man. The floor, maybe? But I also distinctly remember floating. You know, dude, we've been doing this since junior year, right? And this is the first show that anyone's actually liked. Wild. You've only been playing together for a year? You know, man, crazy how time flies. Man, back then, Trish and I had these crazy long horns and glasses. Now there's a thought. How would Trish even look with those gla with, with glasses? Actually, how would glasses even work on any Triceratops? Fang wasn't Fang. She what? 
Uh, probably shouldn't have mentioned that. Okay, I didn't believe you that they were a furry because of their profile picture, which is not their profile picture right now, by the way. But they're working on a game called Hug That Gator, <laughs> which makes me believe they're a furry. And they're also posting, like, <laughs> lewd romantic images of Fang as a character that they're obviously attracted to on Twitter. And so, like, yeah, they're a furry. <laughs> It's, ca- it's called I Wanna Hug That Gator. I Wanna Hug That Gator. This is all just, this is all just very obviously like, oh, they get, you know, living out their fantasy of being a 4 channer and getting to romance scalies that are very gender binary. <laughs> this is their fantasy. Have at it. <laughs> Why not? Power to you. Yeah, cool. Oh, I Wanna Hug That Gator is on Steam. Is it out yet? Is it being worked on? Oh, there's a demo coming soon. Okay, interesting. I guess they're gonna have another Anon. I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't, how will it hold up if it's not a direct parody of of, uh, Goodbye Volcano High? Because what I'm looking at right now is literally just he's doing the same thing again. It's I'm going to read the description. I want to hug that gator exclamation mark is a choice driven narrative about teenagers struggling to find their way. Help Inko loser high schooler extraordinaire navigate his budding friendships and romance while surviving being the only human in a dinosaur filled school. So it's like what you're just going to do the same thing again. There's not going to be a parody. You're just a nine with more dinosaurs. Like you're, this is, this is kind of funny. Cause it's like, okay, well now you're just doing the same thing unironically. And it's clear that this is what you wanted to do the whole time. That's very interesting. The protagonist Five isn't antisocial and edgy and like a nine. Do you think this game will end? With Fang renouncing non-binarism. <laughs> non-binarism. Also, obligatory I think it's entirely possible that uh, Fang will renounce being non bin in re <laughs> by the end of this game, but we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, I'm going to take a very short break here. BRB, got to pee.